So this Excel pivot table, this is Excel pivot table connected to multi-dimensional uh, analysis services, any SQL version. If we connect, we connect to the cube, which has measure groups, we select sales values and we have on the top measures and on the bottom dimensions. You could say, yes, fine, nothing new. And I agree, absolutely clear. Now, this is how it is in multidimensional, but going to Tabular SQL 2016 standard edition, now everything gets very, very crowded. So if you want to look for our sales values, we have to press X. And then all dimensions related to this measure group are gone. So that's not very user friendly and happily, this can be uh, has been improved in SQL 2019, also standard edition. So we have about 200 tables, dimensional or transactional table, and uh, we select the sales values. And in here, we can see we can select dimensions and continue working on our report. That's we believe quite important uh, handicap or feature in uh, SQL uh, Server tabular. So for that reason, we would definitely recommend 2019 when we, when we speak about standard. Enterprise Edition doesn't have this handicap also in a lower version. Now, um, if we look into the, the design or schema or structure of uh, tabular database, then if you look into the file st structure, you may know that there is only one object only one file we call this is a model file while we had multiple object cubes and dimensions and in tabular table is simply a table regardless whether it is a transactional which we call fact or dimensional of uh, keeping the attributes hierarchies and uh, the other dimensional data now all tables we have seen are available in user interface unless we use perspectives so this is kind of silly and this is not such a problem when we are browsing uh, analysis services cube we have seen only the cube dimensions available in user interface uh, from that cube but from you know technical perspective we can create a custom measure in tabular uh, from any table which means we can join for example receivables and payables and create some kpi based on that transactions now looking into the same uh, step doing it into the multi-dimensional we have only measure groups that are available in the current queue so in 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 this sense this one is better uh, for sure the biggest and the most important uh, part for uh, having uh, the multi uh, tabular is to uh, use Power BI, and in Power BI we can create new measures uh, inside of Power BI report, which is absolutely not possible in multi-dimensional. So let's see what we are speaking about. Um, this here is a out-of-the-box Power BI solution connected to the tabular model, and uh, we see these all uh, tables are available here and we can extend the model by putting new measures. So we have done just to prove this, and we have created a few DAX expressions, and these DAX expressions have been created uh, in this report, and the query just shows that we have done some, some, some DAX in here. So this is available only in this report, and if uh, a user who has created this report would like to share it with his colleagues then the best thing is just to take a copy of this measure and put it into the bf or dynamics uh, tabular uh, engine and this will be copy paste delivered on a uh, server level and it's also a good feature that we can only process one particular measure at one time so we don't have to reprocess the whole engine uh, again and again so this is really really good and this is, we believe, the best feature for using Tabular, especially for user interface uh, in Power BI. Uh, 